Hi everyone! To all my subscribers and my return viewers, welcome to this lifestyle video and at the same time the 12th episode of my fashion item of the week. Just because beads are one of my favorite items, this episode is really special. In this video, I am collaborating with a Nigerian YouTuber, Faith Oguchi from Faith Oguchi TV and an award-winning fashion designer, Sia Tolpe from South Africa to talk more about beads. Check their channels out and stay tuned, we will be back. A bead is a small piece of glass, stone or similar material that is threaded with others into a chained form or sewn onto a fabric or leather etc. What is popping everyone, I'm Sia and today we are going to be talking about beads. As a designer myself, I've been fortunate enough to learn a thing or two about beading and let me tell you this, if you master the beginning and the ending which is called the closing of any bead piece that you do, anything else in between is a walk in the park. Every day, all over the world, people wear accessories made out of beads in the forms of earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. In Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, and other African countries, waist beads are a symbol of femininity, fertility, sensuality, and spiritual well-being. And speaking of necklaces, I'm actually wearing one right now, but this is not a fashion accessory. This is more of a cultural symbol, if I can put it like that. In my culture and my tradition, when your father passes on and you are the last born, you have to wear this as a symbol. And you know, like I said, this is not to be used as a fashion accessory. That is why I kept it hidden under my shirt. Hello! My name is Faith Ogechi. So yes, I love beads. In fact, growing up as a child, I love making beads. I used to make beads and sell it. Yes, 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 yes. In fact, you can't be an you can't be African. If I let come down home to Nigeria, you can't be Nigerian and not have your and be dressed in your traditional outfit and not have your beads on. You'll be so incomplete. So generally in Africa, B symbolizes beauty, tradition or culture, strength, marital statute, age, power, and warriorhood, depending on the type of beat, how it is worn, and by who. Now, can we please discuss the versatility and importance of beads during a traditional wedding, a typical traditional South African wedding where there's a Zulu or a Kosa tribe involved. You know, beads are always the showstopper for me because is it really a wedding without a glamorous neck piece or a hat that has been nicely decorated with beads? No, I do not think so. When it comes to beadwork, the Zulu and the Kosa people always excel. Beads are now also hitting the runway, but not as headpieces, necklaces, or earrings, but as dresses. In 2019, Khartyo Kutia put together an amazing dress for Miss Bonang Mateba and it weighed 9 kilograms. As heavy as it was, she wore it with such grace and elegance. Also in 2019, our reigning queen, Miss Universe, Zozibini Tunzi, took her first walk as Miss Universe wearing a dress made out of beads. She also gave her last walk as Miss Universe wearing a dress made out of beads. So you cannot deny the impact that beads have in fashion. One other reason I love it so much is because it brings out the rich African culture. In fact, I can't go into it without wearing beads, either as waist beads or anklet or earrings. It's so beautiful and African. One of the reasons I love it so much. So yes, waist beads are beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. That being said, while in Ghana for my holidays, I had a desire to go shopping for beads. Abubloshi Market is one of Accra's busiest markets where you can find almost everything to buy at very low cost. The market was full of sellers and buyers and lots of carts and vehicles. Luckily, I was accompanied by two elderly women who are beaded who willingly took me to where they buy their beads.
I actually found all I was looking for and more. Since I returned from Ghana, I have been working on some beats and here they are. I hope this episode was impactful. Do you have your own opinions you want to share for us all to learn? Where do you come from and how do your people use beats? Please share in the comment section below. I promise to come back next time with another fun and fact-filled episode. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell of Faith Ogeti TV, this channel and that of CS. Bye!